three things that you can do to instantly improve your looks right now. Three things you can do right now as we speak to instantly make yourself look more attractive, especially to the opposite sex. So let's crack right into tonight's coaching video, guys, as we roll around in my DeLorean here, uh, actually just coming from the gym and uh, my hair is finally dry from my shower. So I'm heading home right now and thought I'd shoot this quick coaching video for you guys. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing you can do to instantly start improving your looks right now is to have a healthy diet and exercise regularly. Oh, surprise, surprise, right? Diet and exercise, yes. It comes back to diet and exercise, guys. If you want to have healthy looking skin, if you want to have a tight body, if you want to feel good about yourself physically, the first thing you can do is start dieting and exercising. And you know what? So what I'm gonna tell you is that uh, diet is more important than exercise. Okay, sure you should do both, but diet is actually more important than actually working out. What you're putting in your mouth is more important than working out. Okay, for me, myself, I've mentioned this before, I only work out twice a week. That's all I have time for, and I'm just too busy these days. I used to go to the gym five times per week, uh, but then I started cutting it down, and now I'm down to two times per week, and I'm actually in better shape than I ever was before. I feel healthier, I feel stronger, I feel more energized. Back in the day when I was going to the gym five times per week, I was often sluggish, I was tired. Um, a lot of mornings I just, re I just like hated waking up early. Um, I just wasn't, really wasn't happy, you know? I had to like push myself to go to the gym and I'm like, why am I doing this? Why, why am I killing myself? Why don't, I, why don't I just eat better, right? So that's what I started doing. I was like, I'm just gonna eat healthier. I'm gonna stop eating, consuming sugar, cookies, candy, uh, you know, junk food. I'm just gonna stop doing that and I'm just gonna eat healthier. That way I don't have to go to the gym that much. And uh, it worked out, right? So I only go to the gym twice a week these days. I'm much healthier and um, obviously I'm much happier too. I'm just happier, I'm in a better mood most days uh, but a lot of that too is attributed to uh, obviously my diet I'm eating healthy foods I'm eating clean uh, I'm not lethargic and sleepy half the time from eating McDonald's or Burger King or french fries or pizza or anything like that I'm always awake and alert as you see in my coaching videos right all my coaching videos I'm awake and alert in like 99.9% .9 of them the only times I'm not alert is probably ones where you see where I'm in Vegas and I'm like one eye open trying to shoot my coaching videos because I was partying the night before to like 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. And even then I'm still able to bang it out pretty hard just because my diet is so clean and it makes me want to get out there and do things. It makes me want to get out there and make things happen. And this is why your diet is so, so important, guys, is because it will make you want to get out there and push yourself to be better, to do, to take action, right? To do something with your life. So diet and exercise is the first thing you can do to improve your looks. And obviously the cleaner you eat, the better your skin is gonna look, the thicker your hair will be. Look at this, man. I'm already in my 40s, I don't have any gray hair. I have a little bit here, but I, have, I actually have like one or two over here, but I don't have any grays, guys. I'm not balding, anything like that. And um, I feel great, I feel fine. So diet and exercise is number one. Now. The second thing you can do to improve your looks immediately, and this is something you can do right now, is you can improve your wardrobe, okay? You can improve the type of clothes that you wear. Um, this is something that we used to do on my uh, pickup boot camps, and a lot of pickup artists used to do this on their boot camps as well, is first thing we would do is we would work on the guy's uh, wardrobe, the clothes he was wearing, and you know what, I'm almost kind of sad in that um, they stopped doing this, you know, and it's just because time is so limited now and it's like We just want to get the guy out as quickly as possible But clothes wardrobe makes a huge 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 difference in how you feel about yourself how you look um, And really you want to find clothes that fit your body type, right? So if you're a guy who's a little more heavy set uh, you probably Don't want to be wearing clothes that are fitted right clothes that are going to emphasize the fact that you have a belly or anything like that instead you're going to want to wear clothes that are a bit looser that uh, can hide that right but if you are a guy who's in pretty decent shape 
and uh, has a good physique, then obviously you're gonna want to wear more form-fitting clothes. For me personally, I always buy fitted clothes. I don't like to wear loose clothes or clothes that are gonna hide the fact that I have a pretty decent physique, especially at my age. Uh, I'm gonna wear, I mean, even this shirt alone, right? I've got my, uh, what is it, what am I wearing? Under Armour, wearing my Under Armour shirt. This shirt is fitted, right? It's fitted, it's conformed to my body, and, um, and it displays my physique. So you wanna make sure you're wearing the right type of uh, clothing. And also you want to find the right colors too because there are some colors that will look better on you than others. For me, I know the colors, uh, the color red generally looks good on me. Um, usually an off-white will look good on me too. Also blue, blue tends to look good on me. Whereas other colors don't look so great on me. Like I can't really pull off like green, that doesn't really look that great on me or brown doesn't really look great on me um, or any co other colors like that whereas other guys that would look great on them right I know my girl um, well one of the girls I was dating at one point had like green eyes right she had like green eyes really beautiful girl and she would wear green shirts right I couldn't pull off green but when she would wear green it would just totally like her face would like light up right it would just kind of like bounce off her eyes and just kind of emphasize the fact that she has green eyes so you have to find the colors that look best on you, right? And you have to use it to your advantage. So that is the second way to improve your looks, imme your looks immediately is by improving your wardrobe, improving your dress. Obviously too, besides color, besides the clothing, you wanna pick the right shoes, okay? So you wanna get shoes that will emphasize your personality, who you are, um, whether it be even just tennis shoes, and especially dress shoes, right? You wanna get something that will really, really kind of stand out. Uh, for me personally, I mean, you know, I wear some pretty expensive sneakers. You know, it's not, I don't, I didn't buy them for the fact that they're expensive, but I bought them for the fact that they don't use, uh, they don't use laces. They just kind of have like this pull method where it's like a wire, right? If you ever see my uh, tennis shoes, my sneakers, it's like a wire and you just kind of like pull on this wire and it tightens your shoes much like a shoelace would without having to actually tie your shoes like a shoelace right because to me it's time consuming I'm a pretty busy guy so I'm always looking for opportunities to cut down on these little mundane things that I do each day that are taking up my time and I recognize that tying my shoes was actually one of them even though it's something that takes what like 30 seconds or so but sometimes you get knots Right, you might have a knot in your shoe, now it takes you like five minutes. So I'm like, I wanna eliminate this, I hate tying my shoes, I hate when my shoes get untied, um, I'm just gonna go with this wire method. And uh, so I wear a different brand of shoe where it's a little more pricier than the shoes I'm used to buying, but it's so much easier to just slip on and then like pull the wire and boom, shoes are tightened, right? It's easy to take on and take off as well because you just un you just unlatch the wire and then boom, it's loosened. So, uh, but they're nice looking shoes and even my shoes, even my sneakers get attention. But uh, when it comes to dress shoes, um, you wanna choose dress shoes that really emphasize, again, your personality. For me, as far as dress shoes go, you might've seen these in my photos. Some people think these are crazy, but I have, uh, fl um, I have uh, flame leather boots, <laughs> right? I wear these flame leather boots, especially when I'm out in the clubs or I'm out in venues and it's a busy venue. Uh, why do I wear these boots? Not only because I like boots personally, I think all men should own at least one pair of boots. If you're a man, you should get at least one nice pair of boots for yourself because there's something very manly about it. Uh, I notice a lot of women like that, especially women who are feminine. They like guys with boots. Now women who are ball breakers and all into this like modern woman feminista type shit, um, they're probably gonna try to uh, amog you on that, but women who are feminine, women who are more traditional and, or conservative even, uh, will totally go for that look. And for me, it's about attracting those type of women. So I like to wear boots. I own more than one pair of boots personally, but uh, boots are definitely something you should have in your wardrobe. And as I've said, mine are flame leather boots. And the reason why mine have flames on it is because uh, I'm kind of uh, an attention whore, especially in uh, venues where you have tons and tons of guys it's an easy way to stand out, right? Who's that guy with the flame leather boots? And also it brings in a lot of AMOGs too. If I'm in set and some guy wants to AMOG, uh, it, it's an opportunity for me to show that I'm icy, I'm non-reactive, I'm cool, make him lower his own social value 
while at the same time raising mine, right? So uh, this goes back to uh, old peacocking theory back from the old pickup days where we used to purposely dress outlandish to get people to not only notice us, but to bring in those AMOGs, right? Those low value males who are gonna take shots at us and just prove our value through not reacting to them and then making them look like fools and again, raising our own social value. So make sure you have a nice pair of dress shoes in your wardrobe and also a pair of boots as well. Uh, my boots kind of serve a dual purpose where they're my dress shoes and they're my, uh, they're my uh, boots that I choose to wear. So that is the second thing that you can do to immediately improve your looks is your wardrobe. And the third and final thing, probably the most important thing you can do to improve your looks is improve your attitude, your charisma, your personality, your character, your behavioral traits. This is something you can start doing right now because this is something that I see a lot, sadly, in the, um, what do you call it? Like the, the black pill community, right? Where it's all about looks, it's all about their looks. I mean, those guys are all completely focused on looks alone. Like, nope, nobody will ever accept you. It's all about your looks. It only boils down to your looks. It's looks, 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 right? And they completely disregard attitude. They t completely disregard charisma, personality, character, the ability to engage the other person in conversation, right? Those things count just as much, if not more, than your actual looks. If you can engage the other person, right? If you could get the person to buy. If you ever work in sales, right? You work in sales, um, especially if you ever worked on a car lot, you'll notice like some of the best car salesmen on that lot or in the world even are some of the like homely homeliest looking dudes ever they're some of the most unattractive dudes fattest dudes shortest dudes whatever but they've got the million dollar mouthpiece they can engage you in conversation they can make you buy things you don't want to buy they can make you feel things you don't even feel right they have that charisma about them and you have to understand like the reason they have this charisma this belief in themselves, this, these, these positive behavioral traits is because they have the right attitude, right? They have the right attitude. And as my old football coach used to say, everything is attitude, Matt. Everything is attitude. Because I played quarterback, right? He's always instilling that in my head. He's like, if you don't believe, guess what? They won't believe, your teammates. The people in the stands won't believe. I won't believe. Nobody will believe. He's like, you're the leader. You have to believe. You have to be positive. You have to spread the joy. He goes, it's not on us. You're the quarterback. You're the leader. And it's the same thing with being a man. You're the quarterback. You're the leader as a man. Okay? It's your responsibility to have the right attitude and infect others around you with the right attitude. Because if you're not doing that, you're a little bitch. Right? You have pass that you know, pass on that leadership role to somebody else who's more deserving of it. But as a man, you have to have the right attitude. And this immediately will make a ginormous difference on how the opposite sex treats you. And uh, I mean, one of my former, a couple of my former wingmen were male models, right? Male models. I remember we would walk into these venues like the W Hotel in Hollywood it used to drive me nuts, or the, even the W in San Francisco, where my other wingman lived um, back in the day. And I remember we'd walk in, the girls would immediately be focused on them. Like 99% of the time, immediately these girls were like tunnel vision towards my wing because they're tall, they're good looking, right? Good looking guys, no homo. Just tall, good looking guys. I'm, I'm able to be honest, way better looking than me, in way better shape than I was, right? and they would always just like immediately want to talk to them. However, after five minutes of talking to these guys, sometimes even less than that, sometimes even just a minute of talking to these guys, they'd realize that they did not possess the social value that I did. They'd realize they did not have the charisma that I did. They realized they didn't have the sense of humor that I did. They didn't have the ability to engage them in conversation the way I did. And they would completely just lose interest in them, right? Like, yeah, good looking guy, but 
tell me about you, right? They would lose attraction for them. Does it mean they wouldn't have sex with them? No, doesn't mean that at all. But where is the attention now? The attention was on me. It got to the point where one of my wingmen actually stopped hanging out with me. <laughs> um, I don't want to say his name because we're still kind of friends, but he stopped gaming with me. He was a male model. Stop gaming with me because he got annoyed at the fact that I kept doing that. Like I kept stealing the show. That's what he called it. Always stealing the show, man. Always stealing the show. And I'm like, dude, you're a good looking guy. You steal the show without having to say anything. I have to work for it, right? And he was like, no, you're always stealing the show. It's getting, you know, I'm, I'm not having fun anymore. <laughs> I'm like, do you want me to do, do you want me to not game as hard? I even offered to do that because I liked him. I wanted to hang out with him still. And I was like, do you want me to just dial it back? I could dial it back a bit. And he was like, I don't think you could dial it back because you just go full out and da-da-da. And I'm like, I'll dial it back. Let's let's just hang out. And he didn't want to. He was just like, he was done. Because he was like, that was the third girl you stole. The third one. I wanted her. You know I liked her and you came in there. And I was like, Dude, I didn't do anything. I wasn't trying to game her and I was like just sitting in there talking to the girl and she got engaged. You know, so this is why I say attitude is important, guys. Don't buy into this bullshit black pill stuff that, oh, look, 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 look. No, you have to have the right attitude, okay? You have to have the right attitude, okay? I think they even did a video about me and my looks. They're like, no, nah, he's only a three. He's only a three. Dude, really? Am I a three look? Seriously? There's not a single person on the planet, even like my haters would say that, right? I mean, obviously, and let's go with that. Like, oh, he's a three in looks. Look at my results. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm a three in looks. Look at my results. Look at the type of girls I've been able to pull. Right? Check my social media, right? Check my IG. Look at the type of girls I've been able to pull. Look at the girlfriends I've had in the past, right? Even when I was younger, even to this day, my girls, my girlfriends have actually gotten better looking. Not bad for a guy who's a three in looks, <laughs> right? That was their claim, not mine. I was like, really? You know, it doesn't affect me at all. Why? Because I know that those guys are idiots. It's all about your attitude, right? Maybe not all, but much of it is about your attitude, right? Your looks, yeah, your looks are important upon first glance, right? If the girl first sees you and she's like, eh, right? And I've had that response too. When a girl first sees me, like, but once I start talking and I show her my personality as I teach you guys to do, and I start utilizing that gift of gab that I have, that I teach you how to do, I start showing her that I have charisma, that I have a personality, that I'm a person, right? And she stops seeing me as an object, right? Whether an attractive object or an unattractive object, she stops seeing me as an object and she starts seeing me as a person. Then the tide turns and then she's like, wait, you're kind of interesting right there's something about you you're kind of like there's a, there's something about you you're kind of interesting because now she's getting to know you why do I teach you guys to vomit your personality on the girl so she could get to know you because the quicker she gets to know you the faster she's gonna have sex with you okay so you never ever dismiss the importance of attitude it is critical right you could be the best looking guy in the world and still not be able to hang on to these girls man I've been coaching guys all around the world, thousands of guys, even to this day, for the last three decades. And I can tell you how many guys, very good looking guys, even male models, I've seen not be able to hang on to the girl past, past sex, right? Or not be able to even get to that point because the girl finds out very quickly, this guy's beta, he has no spine, I can walk all over him, he has a shitty attitude, he's toxic, he's negative or whatever. Yeah, he's good looking, but so what? right but so what it's kind of like when you see a good-looking girl right it's like yeah wow that chick's hot but then once she starts talking she's like she's like um, annoying obnoxious self-centered she she berates you she belittles you uh, she has a dirty mouth swears like a sailor all of a sudden you're like Ugh, she's not that hot gross you know it's like she's not as attractive to you anymore doesn't mean you wouldn't have sex with her but you wouldn't want to be with her you're like I don't want to put up with that every day. Ugh. You know, I, I'd hate myself if I had to like deal with her every day. Same thing with it when it comes to guys. You have to have the right attitude, right? You have to have the right attitude because it is just as important, if not more important, than your actual looks. And I am saying that as a professional pickup artist, as a dating coach who's been around for decades now, who has built a very successful business, I have tons of rave reviews from my former customers, my current customers, and even future customers, guys who aren't even in my program yet, right? You can read my comments for yourself. If you don't believe me, just go to my YouTube comments, read all the comments I'm getting from guys. I have a 99% and above 
like to dislike ratio, right? There's a reason for that. Facts don't lie. There's a reason I have a 99% like ratio to dislike ratio where you go to a lot of a lot of these other guys who are trying to speak against that like, no, looks, looks, looks. Look at their like to dislike ratio. Look at the negative toxic comments they have in um, their comment section. There's a huge difference. And at the end of the day, I always, like I tell you guys, whose life would you rather have? The life of the guy hating, even though they don't think they're hating, but they are. The life of the guy hating or the life of the guy being hated on. I'll tell you, without fail, you'd rather have the life of the guy being hated on because that's a guy who's living the life. That's a guy who's gonna be remembered. That's a guy who people are attacking because they're trying to bring him down because they're threatened by him. You don't wanna have the life of the hater. Nobody's ever gonna remember the hater. Hater's always anonymous. Like these, a lot of these guys are. They always hide behind uh, their, their faceless uh, faceless YouTube accounts. Even these guys who do these videos, they like hide. Why do they hide? What are you hiding if you're a content creator? What are you, what are you afraid of? Afraid somebody's gonna come and get you? What are you, stop being a pussy, man. Put your face out there. Stop being a fucking pussy. In any case, guys, those are my three things that you can do right now to immediately improve your looks, okay? Those are three things you can do right now to immediately improve your looks and become more attractive to the opposite sex. So. Do that now, take advantage of it, and as always, drop your comments below, leave your comments below, and share with everyone else. And until next time, this is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out here from my DeLorean. Yes, where my DeLorean, just to prove it to you, there go the doors, right? The going doors. Sign out from the DeLorean, get to head home, and don't forget to smash that like button below. Go ahead and smash it right now. Also, hit that notification bell right next to it so you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on the YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you actually subscribe. It tells YouTube you love my content, you're digging it, you're feeling it, and you want me to produce more of it. And for all you guys who want to support my work and all of this red pill, gold pill, and platinum pill content even further that I am teaching you, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut me down one day where they won't be able to, right? Because I have all of my premium Alpha Male Secrets content on a private, secure, encrypted server where you can access it 24-7, 365 days a year, no matter what. So this is the absolute best way to support my work, guys. And right now, it's only one buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets coaching lessons from, coaching lessons from me. So take advantage of it. And all you need to do is click that link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. As we run off in the DeLorean. Till next time. Woo! Man, it drives like a dream. Ugh, oh, I love this car.